Did you watch the Square Enix Presents? Unfortunately. <laughs> so let's talk about that. So here's the thing I want to I want to set up first, yeah. aside from my disappointment, is the fact that I did not see that they actually outlined what they were going to present. They did do that. Yes. So in all fairness to them and whomever else was disappointed. They let you know ahead they, of time what it was going to be. Exactly. Yeah. So I didn't I, I personally didn't see that and I didn't know. So when I actually did watch it, I was incredibly disappointed. Yeah. You were like <laughs> especially since uh, some of the key art. I think had like a lot of Square Enix um, uh, art from titles that weren't even shown. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So here's everything they presented. Um, so they talked about Life is Strange, two col- True Colors. Um, this honestly was the highlight of the whole thing for a lot of people. Oh, it was the focus. Yeah, it was the focus. Anything. But... It was, that's what people wanted to see was this. Um, Life is Strange Remastered Collection, um, Forspoken. Now, this used to be, this is what Project Athea was. Yes. Yeah. Um, Marvel's Avengers, which they keep trying to save it. Um, that's better than uh, what they did with Anthem. Yeah. Um, Outriders. They, I mean, I mean. Bioware and Activision. Yeah. And Tomb Raider. The 25th anniversary of Tomb Raider. So, oh yeah, and this game uh, that will go unnamed. No, I'm just kidding. Balan Wonderland. They also had like a Tomb Raider cookbook. They did? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Uh, And then they had Just Cause Mobile. Um, Hitman, Sniper Assassins. Also Mobile. Mobile, yeah. Space Invaders. I believe this is also mobile. Yeah, these are all mobile. Yeah. Tohu Spell Bubble. Bubble bo- Bubble for Friends. Okay, this looks like it's a console game. And Darius Cosmic Revelation. This is... It's a shooter. This is a shooter. Okay. This is going to come out for PS4 and Twitch. Switch. P- you said Twitch. Oh, my bad. PS4 and Switch. Um... I meant Switch. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, now that we covered everything that was there, uh, let me uh, tell me what you thought about it. Oh, like I said, um, I didn't know about what was being released. So when I was watching it live, I was like, oh, my God, when are they going to get to something <laughs> good that I really want to enjoy? Yeah. Like, I really did enjoy Life is Strange, um, the first one. Mm-hmm. I have not played Before the Storm or the, the second Life is Strange. Mm-hmm. So I've been wanting to, to to play those and check them out, but Don't Nod is the uh, developer behind those. Mm-hmm. This Life is Strange True Colors is being developed by another comp- another studio. Okay. So I'm I'm, I'm interested to see what they're going to be doing with it. Okay. That being that being said, Life is Strange isn't like the system seller like my most hyped game. So I was really looking forward to something about near maybe near Automata two. I don't know that that that's lofty, but um. I know Platinum Games is working with Square Enix for the next game. It's called Babylon Falls, I think. Babylon's Fall. Okay, I haven't heard uh, of it. So, so something about that. Maybe something about Final Fantasy 16. Mm-hmm. Maybe something about Final Fantasy 14 and Walkers. But then again, they're going to be having a fan festival soon. So, still, there's overlap. Yeah. Um, it was neat to get some information on Project Athia, mm-hmm. um, Forspoken. The, they showed some of the traversal yeah. and the world that uh, the game is taking place in. It looks very cool. It does. Um, it does. Luminous Productions is the same company pretty much that did Final Fantasy 15. And, and that's what I was going to say. Final Fantasy the, move, Wait, the movement looks similar to Final Fantasy 15 movement. I was going to say the world also looks yeah. very similar to Final Fantasy 15. Um, so, so, you know, I'd like to see more about that. Mm-hmm. But as, as, as like a let's say a, a square enix direct overall i thought it was pretty disappointing yeah um i agree with you and they said they're gonna have a second one in this summer and i yeah. assume that's gonna have all the big news like final fantasy and all that so we'll see we'll see but i think they should have thrown us a bone <laughs> <laughs> well they did that's that's what forespoken was I think Forspoken was that bone. Oh, I'm not, okay. not going to lie. Because look at all the other games that were, were in there. 
you know? Yeah. And um, they were all mostly third-party titles. Yeah, this one was directed toward... They said this one was specifically for third-party titles. So yeah. I would assume the next one is going to be for their in-house projects. Exactly. So, All right. Well, I'm looking forward... Yeah, this one wasn't that great, but I'm looking forward to the next one. Oh, yeah. I mean, as a major fan of like Square Enix properties yeah. in general, like I tend to really look forward to what they've got going on. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Here's hoping. 